Hey everybody, welcome back, and today we're gonna to be finally putting up the sound foam all over the room. So I had sound foam up in my last studio. This one is actually about twice as big as my old studio, so it's definitely gonna need a lot more sound foam. So now that I had some more mailed in, I'm gonna go ahead and install it. I'm gonna do a before and after on how the noise sounds in here. I'm gonna go ahead and speak and then clap, and then I'll do some snaps or whatever, so you guys can kinda see what it sounds like before uh, the sound foam goes up, and then I'll do one after, and I'll do them side by side too, so the audio samples aren't spread out too much. Um, I'll do them one right after the other a couple times and that way you guys will be able to hear the difference. And there's a link in the description if you guys want to buy the exact same ones that I'm using here. It helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe, share this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the description. All right, let's start. All right, the sound foam is up and I can instantly tell a difference in the quality of the sound in the room. It's a lot more muffled, it's a lot more manageable, it doesn't sound as tin canny in here as it did before. There's not a lot of reverb and the echo has been cut down by a lot. So I was able to get three walls, but I didn't have enough foam to get the fourth wall that's behind the camera. So I'm gonna be putting up that sound foam within the next week or two and it should make it sound a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and put moving blankets that I got at the hardware store up on the doors and then this closet right over here. And hopefully that will dampen some of the reflections of the sound that are in the room. Uh, it should help out a lot. So like I was saying before, let's go ahead and do a before and after comparison on the audio with the sound foam not installed and the sound foam installed. All right, so this is what my voice sounds like in the room without any sound foam, no insulation of any sort. There's, I have a piano and a couple other instruments and there's a lot of reverb, there's a lot of echo. All right guys, this is what my voice sounds like in the studio now that I have a whole bunch of sound foam in. Like I said, I don't have sound foam on one of the four walls. I still have to do that. So yeah, this is what my voice sounds like in a room after I've installed the sound foam. So yeah, there's definitely a big improvement in the audio quality of the room now. I'm also using a shotgun microphone that's on top of the camera, and eventually I will switch back to my Rode NT1 microphone, and that's a condenser microphone. I record it through my audio software, and that will be a big audio improvement. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video so far. This is just a small update on my studio. Also, if you guys have any questions or comments, write them down and I'll reply as soon as I can. I also have my gaming chair behind me, and that's actually the next video that I'm doing, so stick around for that. Um, subscribe, show your friends, show some love, whatever you want. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.